Good evening, and welcome to Channel 7 News. This evening's special is on the events that have taken place at Animal Farm. I'm Megan Pigsky. And I'm Nick Port. Tonight, we'd like to take a look back and remember the bad times and the good times of Animal Farm. I think we can both agree the beginning of Animal Farm was certainly their best time, wouldn't you say? Without a doubt. Old Major gave his life-changing speech, and he influenced the animals to subtract himself from the drunken owner, Mr. Jones. It was there on that song, it was there on that day, the song of the rebellion, Beast of England, was born. It was a beautiful song. Three nights later, their dear old major passed away in his sleep. Later, he was buried down by the orchard. He was a great figure, never to be forgotten. Indeed. The other pigs took old major's words close to heart and came up with a system. Animalism. Soon, the seven commandments came into existence. Well, whatever goes on two legs is an enemy. Whatever goes upon four legs or has wings is a friend. No animal shall wear clothes. No animal shall sleep in a bed. No animal shall drink alcohol. No animal shall kill any other animal. All animals are equal. They were then painted on the barn wall. Most all of the animals were in favor of these reforms for their farm. All except one in particular, Molly. And Channel 7 News was lucky enough to interview Molly. Our very own Nick Porky will take it from here. Roll the clip. I'm here with Molly of Animal Farm. How do you do, Molly? Fine, thanks. Molly, now what do you think of all of these changes around here? Anything in particular that you like or dislike? Well, they want me to take the ribbons out of my hair. They're very nice ribbons. Oh, thanks. They don't want me to talk to any more humans. That means no more sugar cubes. And I love sugar cubes. Ooh. That all does seem a bit unfair. Sugar cubes are very delicious. <clears throat> Thank you for your time. I hope you get to keep your ribbons. Me too. And you're welcome. I ha think. Have a great day. I think you better run along before someone sees you with me. You realize I'm human, don't you? That was just a few weeks before Molly's disappearance. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break from our sponsors. When we return, we'll be reminiscing with Napoleon. More. <laughs> Welcome back. In this special, we've been focusing on Animal Farm, and as this farm prospered with the animals in charge, everyone seemed to agree on ideas and improvements or adjustments to the farm. All except Snowball and Napoleon. One Sunday morning, during the usual meetings, Snowball and Napoleon were at it again, disagreeing. They were discussing the windmill. The windmill was Snowball's idea, and Napoleon opposed it. After a speech made by Snowball of the benefits of the windmill that seemed to win all the animals over, Napoleon made an awful-sounding screech. This screech alerted all the vicious nine dogs. The dogs charged into the barn and chased Snowball out of the barn, through the farm, into a hole in the hedge where he escaped. Napoleon then made himself in charge of the farm. Napoleon also decided on using the plan Snowball had drawn up for the windmill, and Napoleon claimed it was his plan all along. He led the animals to believe that Snowball had been a traitor from the start. Napoleon began changing some of the rules. Commandment 1 was changed from whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. Two, four legs is good, two legs is better, by the voice of the brainwashed sheep. Commandment 4 was changed from no animal shall sleep in a bed to no animal shall sleep in a bed with sheets. Commandment 5 was changed from no animal shall drink alcohol to no animal shall drink alcohol in excess. Commandment 6 was changed from no animal shall kill any other animal to no animal shall kill any other animal without cause. Commandment 7 was changed from all animals are equal to all animals are equal but some animals are more equal than others. We have another interview with a few of those at Animal Farm on the, ma on the matter of Napoleon's taking charge. Here we have Boxer of Animal Farm. Now, Boxer, what do you think of all the changes going on at Animal Farm? Napoleon is always right. Anything else? I will work harder. I'm also here with Squealer. How do you do, Squealer? I'm great, and Napoleon is just the greatest. What about how he stole the windmill plans from Snowball? That doesn't seem so great to me. He did not steal the plans. Then why would he make such a fuss and disagree with them? Tactics, my dear reporter, tactics. Can tactics explain why he used those vicious dogs to taste Snowball away? Why, of course. 
Okay, I believe that's all we have time for today. <laughs> two, one, the sheep. No. no. Those were the only two Napoleon allowed us to interview. Not even the sheep? I figured they would not have had many personal thoughts to share. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. When we return, our focus will be on the last we heard from Animal Farm. More. <laughs> Welcome back. Towards the end of... Towards the end, Napoleon had become stronger and stronger in his hold of the animals over the farm. Soon he took up his power and changes to some extremes. Now Napoleon and the other pigs were up on two legs. The pigs had taught themselves how to walk strictly on their hind legs. This was the first time I had witnessed a pig standing on their two legs. And it is quite a shocking sight. Shock is just what the animals of the farm experienced. As the pigs went through the farm, others could not help but stare. Then, to put the cherry on top of it all, thus this oddity, the pigs invited human men over to dinner in the farmhouse. The men had many congratulations along the way for the pigs that managed the farm. Oh. Humans praised them for the small amounts of food, very long work hours, and low self-management of the working animals. Customs also changed at that dinner. It was decided that all animals would no longer dress one another as comrade, and that the animals would no longer pass Old Major's skull in the mornings. The farm's flag was originally green with a white hoof and horn, and it was the original symbol of the rebellion against drunken Mr. Jones. The flag then changed simply to a solid green flag. The name Animal Farm was also changed to Manor Farm. Manor Farm was just like it used to be in the days of old Mr. Jones. The animals outside the farm house could not have been happy with this. We have few interviews on their thoughts. Roll it. Hello, Clover. How are you after these major changes? Not too well. Honestly, I can tell you who is a pig and who is human anymore. This must be such a hard time for you all. It's re really confusing. Good day, sheep. What are your thoughts on all the differences going off the farm with the pigs? Four legs good, two legs better. Any other? <laughs> Any other thoughts? Four legs good, two legs better. Four legs good, two legs better.